Warning, the following program is a collection of idiots talking about the happenings in the sports entertainment world. It is meant to be comedically informative. The opinions expressed on this show does not necessarily reflect the beliefs of their peers, their bosses, or the Infinite Plus Network. There may be some out-of-pocket things said on this show because this is how we talk to each other. If you are young, please seek permission before watching any further. Your homies, the Three Count Podcast. P.S. Please don't sue us. It's your boy, your nephew, your cousin. It's the Don. Chaz Evans, you're checking out the hottest podcast in the world. The Three Count Podcast. Hit him with a, hit him with a three count. Pin him to the ground and the crowd go wild, man. Now I know we all like. Hit him with a three count. On the top row crowd already know how I fly him to the floor like. Hit him with a three count. And your boy real chicken. Yo, yo, yo. Look, Damien messed up the intro, so I'm going to do the cold open right now. We got, look, 25 to 1, greatest wrestlers since 2000. All right, we're doing that. We also got Tim Check. Let's get right on to it. Let me introduce you, my friend, introducing first. All right, he is the landlord of the Dog Pound. He is also not your infinite plus network champion. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Red Doll. Give me my goddamn title. You were. were, Give me my title. Stop playing around. Wiling out over here. So you lost. (laughs) You lost. (sighs) You're damn right he did. It's the Air Force Veteran Intel Specialist, the one you call on when you need to get the job done, and the man who puts the hug in thug, and still your infinite plus champion. That's right. The ridiculously kissable one, Red Dog. (laughs) You lost. (laughs) You cheated. You cheated. You cheated. You're the one that was supposed to cheat. (laughs) Well, I didn't. I didn't get caught. <laughs> so, I mean, it's good. That's a good thing. I didn't Obviously, get caught. Didn't work. I wouldn't count that as cheating. I all just right, had well, a little help. All right. Obviously, that didn't help, though, did it? Well, then you need to go talk to the Noah then, okay? I will. I will have a conversation with him. Okay. We didn't want well, okay? And you know what? I can know. You need to call. You need to call your boy. You need to call his brother, too. All right? Because he, I told him to be there, too. And you know what he said? I'm at the beach. I'm at the beach. <laughs> he said exactly what he said. He said it just like that. I'm at the, with, his, with, his, with his no neck having self, with his all shoulders. I'm at the beach. So, you know, it's also his fault. So call him up too. I, um, I didn't lose. I didn't lose. I also didn't win. That, But there was no tie. There was no tie. It was, say it was a tie. I'm just saying. I, I had to go know. back and watch. I didn't know. I didn't realize. I just know, like, I hit you with a move. I woke up and I was holding a title. And then I went back and watched the video only to find out that I got nuffed in the face and uh, not appreciated. Not appreciated. Well, but you, doesn't I matter. Say, you are now uh, an official <laughs> member of PI. You got your sport in that new PI shirt there that you can get at, all right, at For Your Wear that has. His name on it. It does. It does. It's in little letters right here at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> but it's there. 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 It's I guess yeah. they dropped the ball on that one. They, I, you better talk. You better talk to them. I don't know. That's, uh-huh. that's your department. Now. Why do I gotta talk to everybody? All right. I guess I'm strong arguing <laughs> everyone. Got uh, you. You're the. See, look, you are. You're. Like, you're the executive. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I'm angry man. I'm angry man that punches people. And apparently, I yeah. don't want to know more. 
I just been losing them all year long. <laughs> and I'm the and I'm the one who puts the hug oh and tug. Oh my gosh! I suck. <laughs> Dog, last year I was winning belts like crazy. We was calling myself Kenny Omega. I was literally saying on this show, I told Kenny Omega, call me. He didn't call me, of course. Like we were like we were belt collecting. And now I can't even I can't even beat Cliff. You know what? Maybe Why I the fuck am I catching strays for this? <laughs> Maybe I have to come back sooner than later. We'll see what happens. Hey, man, look, listen. Yeah. That, look, that, that prison workout I heard does wonders. I mean, you don't see the, you don't see me wearing the, what's the name? Exactly. That's exactly I'm why I said it. A little bit more range of motion. I'm a little, actually, I'm a little ahead of schedule, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. yes. like, I'm, not, I'm not really in pain anymore. I mean, I really can't lift too much stuff, but I can move it right now. So that's a. Uh, yeah, my doctor's gonna think I'm a freak of nature when I go back in like two weeks. We'll see. Good. That's what I want to hear. And there's your Damien uh, health update for the week. Anyway, but uh, let me finish introducing everyone. Here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. We got so worked up, you know, Cliff busting in my uh into into my my new studio here on in the Three Count <laughs> Network. Uh, you you don't have to have the title right there. You can you can set it down. <laughs> oh, I can't have it here. All right. Um. I just, I just thought you do this. That's what. Uh, <laughs> I'm mad at it. It's like, I'm just saying. It's like I'm that mad. dude from. It's like that dude from Home Improvement. <laughs> you know, kids who don't know that that was a show in the nineties. That, <laughs> well, that was my boy. That was my boy. He was my man's best character on there. Howdy ho, neighbor. It is in Damien, folks. Uh, the super villain. All right. He's the Dark Lord, the Dark Goat, Damien Fatal. I hate you all. <laughs> and last but certainly not the least. All right, we gotta put him on the uh, uh and not on the on the graphics. All right, he's you've been here on like for a month straight, I think. It's probably more than a month straight. I've been so now here for a while. I'll just watch the I just, yeah, I, I, you, you just, just watch the lounge. You were like, first like you were like a, an exclusive to Damien's villains lounge, and I was like, it's cool. I like, I like, I like the Twitch and Damien's lounge. I'm like, okay. Then he popped on a watch along. Then he goes, Yeah, I'm gonna get on the debate show. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you know, he's like, all right. I just appeared and never left. Right, and then like you, you, you filled in one day, and then I came back, and then you never left, and like yeah, you're now fair. Yeah, we're now a four man group again, not folks. We got we got to get Twitch. Uh, you're silver in the not yeah on the new yeah, in the new graphic. He's oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. I like that. Okay, I like yeah. that. Yep, yeah, yeah, we gotta get. Well, Cliff, you gotta talk to the three count graphics department. And get the new, <laughs> the, the new. I'll get that done. <laughs> cool dog. Once, we get that the once you get that logo, because <laughs> I'm gonna like it up and put it on the back of my wall. Yeah, no, absolutely. In but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Lord Twitch of House Graves, ladies and gentlemen, Twitch Graves in his house. Uh, back again. Re let's get to it. We talked a lot. All right. We got Tim check, and then we're going to go right into the meat and potatoes of today's episode. We're doing 25 to 1, all right? Greatest wrestlers since 2000s. He's been on your show. Legit, he has been in, like, legit, like a two-month span. Yes, he has. It should be Twitch and Friends. <laughs> no, no, shit. No, shit. Uh, you know yeah, what? I don't think I'll ever get him to do that by himself. <laughs> oh, why are you doing that? <laughs> Why? No, no, we can go back. We can. I, yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't know if I like this or not, because like somebody might get it wrong and be like, oh, why are the white guys on top? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jazz controls everything. <laughs> you know? Actually, now that I think about it, we might want to switch me and Twitch. So we're not like divided. <laughs> it's still right, Why are they all on the left side? <laughs> <laughs> Left side, strong side. <laughs> oh my god! I I promise we're gonna talk about wrestling. Let's get into it. All right, it's gonna Tim, happen. Shack. Tim Shack, this is where we give you our hottest and our coldest wrestlers Ooh. going into this week. And for a bonus, 
we give you our match of the week. I'll start us off like this. My hottest wrestler of the week is Solo <laughs> Sokoa. All right. I've been clowning Sokoa for a month, but he whipped Roman's tail. Okay. He, 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 he look, that's what I don't know. He whipped his tail. And let me tell you something. I, I might have to. I might have to put my one up in the air for the tribal chief today. And uh tribal chief saying solo Sokoa. Wow. So, did that's you my highest wrestler. Did you get hit in the head today? No, I got hit in the head yesterday. Oh, that explains <laughs> everything. Okay, exactly. I was also in that battle royale where everyone was beating me up, and then here comes Noah. Get off my man's bro. <laughs> the entire battle royale. Until I got eliminated. But anyway, um, yeah, no. So it's called my coldest is DIY, um, which is a, it, it's kind of a double edged sword because my match of the week is DIY versus the Street Profits. I don't care what anyone says. That's tag team at its best. Like really that's what I, the kids call it cinema. That's that, that was cinema. Like that's that's I don't that's my match of the week. But DIY losing is just. Ugh, you lose the belts, and then like, yes, I'm like, I'm all cool for the Street Profits finally getting the dub, because they since Bobby has been gone and, and well, Bobby being gone, they kind of lose it more. Side, they've been pushed to the side, so it was cool seeing them get a dub and a dub that really you know means something. But being that DIY, just losing the belts to the Bloodline, now you you lost you lost the next match to the um, to the Street Profits. Yeah. yeah. They're my yeah, coldest wrestler of the week. And I hate it because I, I am a Johnny Gargano mark. <laughs> so, yeah, that that's my attempt check. All right, Damien, what you got? Um, I disagree with you with Solo. And uh, I knew I was on the island on that one. I'm going to have to say it was more Jacob. Considering that you can come back with a boot on. And put the hands of the Samoan werewolf on on the original tribal chief and put him down. Um, kudos. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. He was moving around like he didn't have the boot on in the first place. I wanted so that's I wanted to say the whole bloodline, but they were missing a member. And so I, so I was just like, all right, let me just give it to solo. But no, you're absolutely right. Like I I I, I don't. I don't. I, you may disagree with me. I don't disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. I understand why you say give Solo yeah. his flowers because he does deserve it. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like the promo to set up Roman coming out was beautiful. Like mm-hmm. Solo's been. I think Solo's been killing. Let's yeah. Just, let's keep it honest. While Roman's been gone, he's been making us want Roman. Yeah. He's been doing his job. Right. And doing it very well, and surrounded by some really good players that help him elevate him and makes him look better. Because look at the bloodline that he put together. It's a pretty formidable team. So, no, I don't disagree with you. So, yeah, if mine is going to be Jacob, uh, of course, it's Chris Jericho. Of course. Um, I really should be saying Tony because it's his fault that Chris is the way he is. And so, uh, Jericho, I understand. I get the gimmick now. I so you know what it is, and guess what? What? He's just a boomer wrestler. He's a boomer. I seen somebody explain to me on Twitter. I went, "Oh, he is." I get it. Guess what? I fucking love it. I oh, of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> Why are everybody making excuses for him going senile? Okay, it's the it's dementia. It is dementia. But no, no, he has been he's too concussed. He's a and, and, and his he's brain is all scrambled wrestler. like scrambled eggs. And Tony letting this fool do whatever he wants. He's it ain't a gimmick. It's real life. Chris Jericho fucking sucks. He fucking lost his goddamn mind. He he's your weekend warrior wrestler. And he should be watched. Oh. No, no, oh. no, oh. no. A, he, listen, I've seen this Chris Jericho gimmick in real life. I've seen these wrestlers. He's just those, you know, 
<laughs> weekend warrior, 40 year old that's been there since they were like 18, ain't gone nowhere. Like they've been wrestling, like that's who they are. That he, that's what he's playing. He's a look, he's literally playing a cosplay of a wrestler his age, but instead, like who hasn't, you know, he, but he that. is that aging. No, y'all exactly. Making that's the point. You're making it's excuses. Gold. No, it's gold, you're man. I can't excuse. accept. Some. No, look, no, I'm sorry. No, it, it took no. us three and no, a half. I'm not years. buying it. I cannot <laughs> accept <laughs> Chris Jericho no. slander anymore. No. I cannot do it. I get it. No, it, this makes sense. No, this makes more sense than the pain no. killer bull crap. No, it does not. Yes. You're making <laughs> excuses. I like this better than the Ocho. All of it is horrible. The Ocho <laughs> is too much of a, like a black thing for me. It was like, yeah, that's too close to my man Lamar Jackson. Like, don't be calling yourself the Ocho. That no, Lamar Jackson is the Ocho. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, nah, man, I, 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 I can't accept Chris Jericho slander anymore. That he's just the oh my god, right, man, yo, fuck Jericho. As a matter of fact, he my dumbass of the week too. Just because, oh, even... <laughs> just because, just because. Wait, you said no, that. play the wait, wait. We gotta play the music. <laughs> gotta play it. Let's wait a minute. We gonna get wait to play someone get it. I can't get it. Damn, you're never prepared. Oh wait, that no, we'll get to that. <laughs> 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 There's, there it is. We're and not voting. Dumb. We're nope. not gonna vote. Yeah, nope, he's the dumbass of the week. Period. It's hair. No All right, match of the week is uh, a... Carmelo and Andrade. We okay. Mm. Uh, Damon the first mm. was, did not oh, disappoint. Yeah. It did not disappoint. Part three did not disappoint. Um, I, I might be willing to see a part four at this point. Oh no, so, they, they uh, can fight all day long. Yo, do yo, cheers, cheers, guys. Yeah, I I, I, I don't know what the chemistry is with them, but it's. It's fucking a beautiful thing. Yeah. It really is. So uh yeah, no, I, I I'm loving it. So that, that's my match of the week. Whoever's next is next. I, I don't know. Well, red dog. Hey, uh yo, so I'm gonna go ahead. Coldest wrestler of the week for me is Tommaso Champa. Uh it pains me to say that, but it's not just because they lost, but if you guys haven't been watching him on Twitter, he has been failing left, right, and center. And trying to hit the RKO on Randy <laughs> from out of nowhere. <laughs> I love that segment, but I'm like, yo, you keep you keep dropping the ball, bro. I I, I can't I can't go with this. Dude, it's uh, great. Right, so it is, it is, it is, it is. I like it. I, I like it. It's funny. He's gonna hit it on SmackDown next year, and <laughs> everyone's gonna pop for it just because we've all yeah. been watching. Like it's been just gonna be this. some random match too. No one's gonna think anything of it. It's gonna be some, and it's probably gonna be like seven minutes, y'all. And then he's gonna go, I know what? <laughs> and like everyone Gargano, like, Gargano in the back. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly how this is gonna go. Uh, okay, hottest wrestler of the week. Uh, it's pretty simple for me to pick. You guys can take your tribal chiefs. You guys can take your, you know, Solo Sokoas, your Jacob Fatus. But three quarters of the people here are repping something that I'm affiliated with. It's gonna be me. I'm the hot wrestler of the week. God dang it. He's wearing my shirt. I'm wearing a shirt. He's wearing a shirt. I'm affiliated in all of this. It's gonna be me. Am I gonna be the hot wrestler of the week? It's gonna be me today. I ain't even mad at you. I ain't even mad at you. <laughs> not I'm only sorry. did I defend, not only did I defend this, okay, but I won the battle royal at SWA for the Nightmare Cup. All right, I did it. I'm gonna thank me because I put in the work for it. Okay. I deserve that. <laughs> so what does that mean? My hottest match of the week. You better believe it. Mason Walton Prince Macabelli at SWA. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, man, one D is Chaz and I. I mean, we gotta keep it one hundred. Chaz and I both watched. We went back and watched our match, and we went back and watched Prince and Prince and Amazing. We're like, yeah, that match was fire. Too. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, yeah, there you go. That's me. That's that's what it is. 
<laughs> go ahead, Twitch. I ain't gonna. I'm not even gonna acknowledge you. Go ahead, Twitch. You don't want me to go because as much as the bloodline made him look like a bitch, uh, my hottest wrestler of the week is Roman. I'm my, not mad at you about that. I was just my was match gonna... of the week to agree with Chaz DIY and the Street Profits. This is where Chaz is gonna hate me. My coldest wrestler of the week, Chaz Evans. <laughs> you did. You know, you can go back to doing watch alongs and. and <laughs> Hey, you know what? That frees my Sunday up. <laughs> God damn it. Shoot. <laughs> I don't think I've ever... That's, hey, somebody, that's somebody in the crowd, because everybody knows I'm in Florida, so there's no way I could actually make it to y'all's event. Somebody in the crowd went live on Facebook, and I found it right as you two tied up. <laughs> so I watched that whole match. Nice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you don't say you did. <laughs> you don't. Mm. Wow, what was your favorite part? I <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> so what, what was your favorite part? <laughs> Hearing Red Dog win at the end. <laughs> you know, all right, we can, you know what, let's go. It's 20, number 25. <laughs> number 25. I love you, Chaz. I, I love you too. I, I may not feel it, goddammit, right now. I love you too. <laughs> 25. That's All right. What do, what, do, what, do, what do we got? All right, well, man. let's. Okay. Oh, wait. I wanted to talk about something too. Uh, yeah. I, I bring myself, right? And this is the reason also I wanted to get myself, right? Hey, in case anybody don't know, I took a steel chair to the back yesterday. <laughs> That's from this afternoon. <laughs> It's That's pretty. Still, like, yo. That's pretty. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put it to the top. Here's here's the names that we have, right? So Finn, Lita, Rob, Page at 47, 46, Bray White, Will Osprey, Trish Stratus, Edge. You know, you guys can see Sting, Dolph Ziggler, Gail Kim, Tanahashi. We have Booker T at 38. We have Eddie Guerrero at 37 and 36. We have Charlotte Flair 35. We have Gunther 34. We have Asuka 33 is Jeff Hardy. 32 is Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm too excited. <laughs> 31 be Best Phoenix. 30 be Dean Ambrose or John Moxley, depending on which one to call. 29 be Mickey James. 28 Bianca Blair. 27 JBLN. 26 is Bobby. Lashley. So let's get into it. Number 25. Who are we going to talk about? Batista. Who y'all want? Batista. I hate your ass. So <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Batista. No. <laughs> no. My, I mean. Oh. <laughs> so I'm looking at the list of people that we have, have left. Saying my argument for Batista is that gap where you disappeared to go be an MMA fighter and other people stepped up? It's well, then I will give the reason. Then I would say Brock Lesnar because Brock did the same thing. Yeah, yeah but at the same time, Brock has done a little bit more than than Fair. Batista. Yes. Brock so Lesnar. just because, so we're gonna punish. We're gonna punish Batista. I'm not. Right? I'm not punishing him for it, but. But no, so hold on. Let me let me let me be fair, right? Brock left. He became a UFC champion, right? And then goes on to come back to pro wrestling. Batista leaves. He goes on to be in a couple movies that I don't know make a billion dollars. And then we tell him when he comes back to wrestling, and he you know blue Batista, blue Batista, whatever you want to go with, and he falls in WrestleMania. Dude, that's it. That's it. Ah. I won't, you, I, will, I will disagree with you on that, Cliff. My <laughs> argument to that is what is the one thing you remember about Batista, about his wrestling career? Getting hit with chains by Triple H at WrestleMania. What I'm sorry, the, that was his last match. What <laughs> is the one thing you that remember about match. Brock Lesnar's career? The Undertaker streak. The Undertaker streak. I was going to say the feud that uh, Batista had with uh, Undertaker. 
That was I was really thinking, fun. yeah, I was, I was go, I was about to say the same thing. I was gonna go the stuff with Ray. I was gonna say the Punjabi Punjabi prison match. Uh, that, okay, alone, that, that alone, that alone, <laughs> nobody should. <laughs> that alone is justifiable to keep. I still have yet to watch. I still have yet to watch one. Don't, don't, don't do yeah, it, man. I've yet don't. To watch one. don't. Even no, the wrestlers are mad that they were, that they were in them. Every wrestler that has ever been in one is like, dude, they are horrible. I feel I for me, I'm going to say for me, it, it's, I, I'm trying to argue to keep Batista moved up. I'm going to be fair. I'm going to say Rock at 25. Rock or Brock? Rock. 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 The Rock. rock. Okay. The rock. I could see that. I, I, I could I, also see Sean as well. See, I think Sean though in that early two thousands, he had he had more. Yeah, Sean Michaels had more of a run, and I, I can't I can't say that because even yeah, he can go up. I just think I think Rock, you know, ending his career, I think like what like two thousand one, two thousand two, or some shit like that. Then he made like random appearances. He had the two great matches. Let's be real, like with Cena back to back, and then what happened? He came back. He came back with with uh, Roman. So like to me. That's you a very get valid the, argument. You either get The Rock at 25 and Batista at 24. Can I be oh, honest? Batista at 25 and The Rock at 24. Which one is it? Can I Go ahead, Chaz. Be honest. Be honest. I'm not putting either one of those names. <laughs> what you got? Okada. Why? For the simple fact of to a bigger audience, right? Uh-huh. And Okada wasn't popping until 2012. That was a loud thunderclap. To like, you're not lo- really, you're not looking, you're like, Okada wrestled in the United States in the early early 2000s at TNA, right? Wasn't all, and it wasn't all too grand. Yeah. Okay? Okada goes back to Japan. It doesn't really get the pop until the 2010s. So... I'm putting Okada on that list. And if not, I'm putting Cody on that list on that on 25. Because I'm thinking we're just now in Cody's prime. Let's That's be for real. Too. Like we're at the peak of his like not, not we're just not, we're like starting but like we're at the peak. Like we're there. Like for, probably right like that AEW right before the AEW run was right at the start of like um oh, this is the guy. Yeah. We're here now. So I Let's. We have yet to see what Cody has done as on the big stage. Like I think if we mm-hmm. put Cody any like further down the list into like that top fifteen, top ten spot, I'm gonna say that's recency bias. You can, you know. No. I'm a eight, but that first one, that first one that he had at WWE, we could keep hundred. He was a mid car guy. But he was like a good mid card guy. We yeah. liked him in the skill runs. We liked him in his when he was kind of trying to be the big legacy was like a thing. You know what I mean? Like I, I can't agree. When they beat the shield, right? They were the first, you know, him and Dustin were the first tag team to beat the shield. Like that I I, I can't I can't say that he's twenty five. I mean, I go with I, I hear your argument about Okada, right? That he didn't really get a pop until like twenty twelve. But we we talk about twelve years of I'll even we'll even shorten it down. We'll say eleven ten to eleven years of where Okada was the guy at New Japan. Like the guy. How many times did he you know if we're gonna make this argument and we're gonna make it and trust me, y'all gonna see. We're gonna make this argument about Roman and WrestleMania, okay? He's doing the Tokyo Dome. How many times did we hear about Okada main event in the Tokyo Dome? You know what I mean? Like sure. If we don't compare Apple to Apple like that, that's all. I mean, I get we can say the E is bigger, you know, blah, 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 blah. But he was the guy. He he was what John Cena was in the E. Like, we paid attention to Okada because of him. Well, to New Japan because of Okada. So I can't see him being at 25. I Like I said, Brock, to me, needs to be sitting at 25. To me, I don't know if Batista is 24, though. I will... Keep that above fifty with y'all too, because I mean, if I'm looking at anybody, 
it may be like AJ Lee. You know what I mean? Yeah. True. But That's to me, argument. Rock Rock has to sit at at twenty at at twenty five. I I can't disagree with that. I can't that disagree is with a fair that. argument. It is a fair. Yeah. Right. Yeah, let's put rock. At, let's put the rock at twenty five. All right. Somebody out there is losing their mind. What? You putting rock at twenty five? That's crazy. He's at least six. <laughs> I mean, we put Stone Cold as an honorable mention, so I mean, <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> That's and, and we didn't include Ric Flair. I was talking about this yesterday. Right. We did. <laughs> if we're going, if we're going that route, we included Eddie Y two J, and we didn't include uh, Chris Benoit. We did. You're right. We did. That is true. For obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not I arguing that either. I almost. I. I, I did. I. That was really hard for me not to. The funny yeah. thing is this, I, and it may, it may be it's you no know, WWE's mind, you know, control. I didn't even think about Ben Walk. It never it it it's, it's crazy. Yeah, Stone it, it Cold never, was an honorable mention. Yeah, yeah he really yeah. was. Yeah, I'm. T- that's why this. That's why this list is crazy and off the wall. <laughs> All right, yeah, don't worry. Twenty four. I mean, AJ Lee, I can understand why. The, the, that it's a she, yeah. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't I mean, a lot. She yeah. did a lot. But she did a lot. She did a lot. A short amount of time. But it was a short amount of time. You know, at one time, she was the longest running Divas champion. You know, she was she was the talk of the women's division. We, we can acknowledge that, right? You know, she had the pipe bomb promo that she cut, right? We we could talk about the great things that she did. Her but but there was at the time, man, really there was nobody else while she was on that run to kind of compare her to, right? I mean, like Caitlin, Caitlin was doing her thing, like yeah. you know, big ups to her. But you know, once kind of Paige came into the whole the whole mix, like like AJ kind of started becoming an afterthought, unfortunately. True. So yeah, I'm okay with AJ being at twenty four. Same. AJ Lee, by the way. AJ Lee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. AJ Lee. Let's be specific. <laughs> oh, everybody <laughs> understands that. Nobody's yeah, not, to, not, not to get confused with AJ. Yeah, not to get confused with AJ Styles. All right, 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I put Brock. I'm okay with that. Mm. This is where I yeah, put Yeah, I'm not. I'm not against that. I'm not against that. Yeah, I'm cool with Brock being at number 23. I have Bailey. Bailey, I thought I mean, about her, but I feel like she should be above Brock. I feel like she's done a little bit more. I mean, think about, mm, think I'm, about what she's done. Like, get it? I get it. She's not getting all the shiny glitz of the other three, but let's like keep it real. Look at everything she's done. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, but where did you? Yeah, I'm. I'm oh, wait, she's where, a word, but- She's the workhorse. Uh, okay. You can't take that from her. She's the new nat. But if you have Charlotte at thirty six, and I, and then you're putting Bailey. At Look, 20- I didn't agree that Charlotte was that far down. Okay, <laughs> so fuck all of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't go back down. That that was a bit. I'm so salty about that. By the way, <laughs> uh you know what? Um. I'll be real. I think Brock needs to be at 22, but Tisa should be at 23. No, like, I would find, yeah. No, not Batista. Brock, hey, listen, let's be real, because you're going to make this argument, Chaz. Brock Lesnar ended the streak, and then what did he do right after that? Just demolished John he beat, Cena. He beat everybody. No, yeah. Like, yeah, Batista, everybody. yeah Batista, Batista left, he came back, and then really just kind of, you know, he kind of pitter pattered a little bit, and I know I made the argument to get him above at twenty five. I just wanted him above twenty five. That's all. where he landed after that. Matt, I don't really know, <laughs> but yeah, I could go twenty three with Batista, twenty two with Brock Lesnar for me. Because Brock did go get 
the UFC heavyweight title. Let's be real. It's not like he like bummed out. <laughs> he came back. He was still that guy. And then he punched uh, John Cena in the mouth. Real real life. Really punched John Cena in the mouth. <laughs> Batista was a guardian of the galaxy. Not a single wrestler can say they are a guardian of the galaxy. I understand I'm, at the same I mean, time, no not many people had the advocate Paul Heyman with them while they beat the streak. That is true. They brought back evolution. He was what is your, what is your point with that? Like, he where are you going? Yeah, he's like, like, honestly, he's like, yeah. He's the I mean, it, dude. When, when Brock Lesnar came back, right, the first thing he did, he kicked John Cena in the dick. <laughs> like, he like, we came back, kicked <laughs> the man right in the junk, and then hit him with an F5. Yo, that moment was I don't know, wild. Fine, 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 fine. So I think Batista, then Brock. And I know, I know, I know JJ is just being pissed <laughs> that it's <laughs> going down. All right. But he did it. Wasn't, uh, wasn't it, didn't Batista have one vote? I think he had like I think he had one yeah, vote. Yeah. Yeah, when we put it all together. Vote. Yeah. And so he you know, he made a high for a one voter. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, be, <laughs> y'all, y'all disrespectful to my man's Batista and what Batista. No, okay, so let me let me ask you this realistically. Where did you see Batista on this list? Fifteen. And, 15, you're smoking crack. <laughs> yeah. Right? Dog, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me let me go in the other room and smoke with you and smoke him because I, I need to see you. Oh, man. I, li- I had him in the teens. I had him in the teens. Yes. No hmm. less. Yeah, no less. Yeah, no, yeah. It wasn't, if it wasn't going past 15, though. 20 tops. Yeah. Nice. Yo, he had a good run. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying the two phases of the, of the ruthless aggression era. You're looking at John Cena and who? Yeah, I would have rather switched Charlotte with Batista if I'm keeping it a hundred. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Nah. Damn. Nah. My man, no, my man, Batista. That's my, that's my personal opinion. This man, Batista, did everything except. He's he did it all. Like I have to keep it a buck. I mean, he just not a Grand Slam champion. I don't. Remember him? I don't know if he was he a Grand Slam champion. I don't think he was. Did he ever win a secondary so. title? Brock. No. Didn't he? he, he I thought he was champion for a while. Was he? Yeah, but he never won the Intercontinental, did he? No. It was just yeah. A US title. Yeah, it was just a U.S. title. Why do I not remember that run? I vaguely remember it, so don't feel bad. I vaguely. It's short lived. I, 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 I just remember the title looking so small because his arms were <laughs> so goddamn big. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. All right. What number are we All on? Right. Twenty-two. Yeah, twenty. Well, we put Brock, we put Brock at twenty-two. Yeah. yeah so, so we got twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm okay. With, I'm okay with Bailey going there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where you going? What, what you saying? You going, you know, you have who, who, who else do you have though? Uh, I, I, I'm iffy about it too. I'm iffy about it. This, too. this is gonna drive you guys crazy. I, and I, as much as I'm a, as much as I'm a stan, uh, yo, Sasha. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it about fifty. And here's why. She's still relatively, you know, she's still relatively new in the in the Mercedes Monet, the CEO phase of what she's going through right now. Um, but she's a Grand Slam champion, right? Yeah. We could talk about the the fire matches that she's had at WWE. We could talk about all the all the things that are are going on. But like when you look at when you when you look at Bailey, Bailey has gone through three phases of Bailey. And has been on top every single time, right? We had the hugger Bailey, she was over with the crowd. We had the Karen Bailey, she's over with the crowd. 
We have damage control Bailey. She's over with the crowd. Then we have, um, you know, new new Bailey that's in now. She's over with the crowd, right? So it's it's hard for me to go nah, and then Sasha. You know, we see we see Sasha the, the you know the blueprint. We've seen Sasha, you know, uh, the boss, right? We we've seen Sasha, but Sasha's evolution side of things really has not come to fruition like we want to see it right it's going to let me keep it a buck but i think right now it it it's got it i i don't want to because i i think she should be first i think she should be in the top above in the top 20 but i just when i'm looking back at the list and seeing the people it's hard for me because like when i look at becky lynch she's also gone through the evolution period too right and yeah. so has and like i said seeing bailey and sasha's the only one that hasn't been through it and i know Hey, she Grand Slam champion. You know, she's main event at WrestleMania. It's hard for me to say this, but it also goes back to, hey, this is where it says. Wow, he kind of makes like a very good case. What did, did you, you put you back Aaron Bailey at 20? Was that? You put Bailey at 20. Oh, oh I mean, but we're still arguing about 21. <laughs> no, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, if you put uh, Sasha Mercedes at 21, you put Bailey at 20. Like, you're not gonna sit up here and tell me Bailey's better than uh, what you call it, Mercedes. I think, I think, right now, out of all three of them, and I'm saying, I'm saying, including Becky, That's I think, wild. I think she's above. I think she's above Becky. You. Now, I think she's a puppet Becky too, but I can get. Yeah. But but here's the thing: you, I, I can make you can make that case in point for Becky being, uh, being on, you know, Lemur on the on the list and like the lower numbers because of the fact on how the man changed the landscape and how yeah. like how you, I can you can make that argument for, in that case. That's why I, I'm not even like. That's why no one's even mentioned the name of Becky because you can make that argument. Right. You can make the argument, see the argument for putting Becky literally in the top ten if you really want to sit here and do it. You can do that. that so I'm not arguing, like the Becky. I, I get that she's going to be on it because the man was some like that's one of those phenomenons. That, okay. Yeah, but I'm just saying if you're going to put Mercedes at 21, you got to put Bailey right after that. I, I mean, I feel you. I feel you. I, in my personal opinion, I think you should flip flop it. I think you should put Bailey at 21. And then put Mercedes at twenty, because I think Mercedes I still think be, so. I think if I think like that, Mercedes should be in the top twenty. If you look at it like this, don't even argue about twenty one anymore. We're all, let's argue about tw- the top. Let's argue about twenty. Who should be the and like, if you're looking at the top twenty of the two thousands? Who is it? is it? Is it Bailey or is it Mercedes? I think that's that's the real question. Because if you're, cause you because th- those two, they got to be th- they're in a lock. It it sucks to suck but they they're in a lot that's just how their careers are and they, they know that they've always said that they're, they're not, yeah they're, so like you gonna you gotta, yeah that's just well like, then so then we're gonna have to make a hard choice like who's sitting at 20 I, I agree with you i agree with you i do think that we can make the argument back and forth about those two but those two are going to go back to back i i i 100 agree with you i think i think that's a, i think that's i think that's reasonable but we still gonna have to hit this twenty one. We still gonna figure out who this person is, this next person gonna be, right? It's got to be somebody that well, I don't know. I mean, I'm just looking at. It. I'm like, and it's a tough thing to pull because there's so many names that we can pull from. But like, I don't see how you put, you don't put. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna say it again, like I did for Bianca, the literally one half. Of the first, like literally history making first black woman to main event WrestleMania. Yeah, if I if I had it my way, Chris Jericho would have been an honorable mention. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you throwing shade to somebody we're not even talking about, Damien? I just have to put it out there because I keep seeing his name on the list and it's bothering me. It's just, it's okay. Just- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right, all right, all right. So, so for me, then, if we, I'm, I'm still looking at, I know, I know we look, we've already, we've already figured this out. We can argue those two names. We know we're going to put those two back to back. But 
we still need a 21. We still have a ton of names. So, I mean, well, yeah, with this. Because if Batista and Brock Lesnar have gone 23, 22, and we have 21, I mean, are we putting who? You got to find a name. And if I'm going to, uh, you know what? Let me keep it on it. CM Punk. I See, I'm going to take CM Punk and argue Samoa Joe. I was going to say CM Punk. I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say CM I I like that you guys are all picking Samoa Joe. I'm going to say Ring of Honor, T, uh, TNA, NXT, AEW. This man has gone through all four and held titles numerous times. Great. You can make the same case, right? CM Punk's gone through ROH, WWE, right? And then what happened? He, left. he goes to AEW. He went back to WWE. But there was a time period where he was just gone. And granted, you can make that same case for, for Samoa Joe while he was the E, but let's be real. That was more of a snake bite where he was just getting injured constantly. You can't, yeah, you can't really Yeah, blame but being, was, the was the but crowd chanting if, CM Punk, I mean, Joe's name for like seven years before he popped back up in a ring? Literally telling them to stop chanting my name. I'm not coming back. Totally a bullface lie, clearly, you know, but Literally at the time period, told them stop doing that. Um, it is, I'd look at the impact if you're going to do the CM Punk thing. It's the impact of CM Punk. Yeah, because the impact of CM Punk is literally the equivalent to what Stone Cold is with like to the '90s. I he's got catchphrases like people are like like people are still chanting what what what. They still chant CM Punk, CM Punk. They still they chant at AEW where he's hated at. There's still morons who still chant CM Punk, who's like, and he's you know public enemy number one over there, and they still chant his name. I just think for me, I just think I, I'm put, I'm going. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go CM Punk because there was a period of seven years where he was just gone, and Joe was putting in that work. I understand that, but I can't. I just can't. I feel like Punk's the bigger, bigger entity in between the two. And that would my be up this. my argument to keep Punk out of this is looking at the impact of not only the summer of Punk, the pipe bomb promo alone. Like we still talk about that today. Uh, like Everybody's Chaz still said, trying Punk to recreate is, that. Punk is is the Austin of this era. With well, though. No. Punk, wait, Punk wait, didn't wait. look the beast incarnate in the face and say, look at me, boy, while I'm talking to you, or I'll put you back to sleep. That is a fair argument. <laughs> that is a very fair argument, but he also <laughs> did basically uh, cuss out Stephanie and Triple H. So w- which one do you, do you really consider? The boss's son-in-law and daughter or Brock Lesnar? I mean, seeing that seeing that Triple H had to go to Plan C to bring Brock Lesnar in. Yeah, I'm still gonna go with somebody. I'm still gonna no, go no, Joe. No, this I'm is going. Kidding. You can. This is going to be one of those things. I feel like it just sounds like all three of y'all. All three of y'all are taking Samoa Joe, and I will. I will gracefully say, okay. It's a majority thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn you back down. I see what's happening. I see what's happening here. This is a very <laughs> Sasha. This is a very Sasha Bailey situation because of if you look at ROH, how linked they were in in Ring of Honor. True. Yeah. 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 It's, it's man. Like this is this is hard. <laughs> All right, so are we doing, right, so are we so doing Joe 21? So 21 is uh, Samoa Joe. And then are we doing 20? Well, who is number 20? Bailey or Sasha? I, Bailey. I, I've heard Sasha personally, but... Bailey. <laughs> I kind of I kind of have to agree with... with oh, God, I can't believe I'm saying this. I have to agree with you, Twitch. Look, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me Music out. Music to my out. ears. Now, they have both done 
a tremendous amount of things. Correct. How and they both have had injuries and have been out for extended periods of time. However, when both injuries recently coming back from who had the bigger impact? <laughs> Am I wrong though? No. Am I wrong? Yeah, Chad. Be, if, well that we we expected her to go to AEW. We just we I was, know. We, but we were they just dropped like, the right win, motherfucker. <laughs> the thing is the fact that what I'm trying to say is we legit was like way, when she came out, we were like, what took you so long? Like <laughs> well, if it's because of the way each was handled. Yeah. yeah. But you know, and it is also it's not just on the company's fault, it's on the person's fault. No offense or anything. I know that's where she wants to be, but it doesn't seem genuine to me. I, I feel, feel like um, there just to be there because it's different. And I I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Bailey and never main event WrestleMania. Thank that you. Thank that's you. Fair. I mean, that is true, that's too. Where I, was going I'll, I will give you this. I'll give you this. Yeah, Bailey was the first person. Bailey was the first person to grant to get the grand slam, hundred percent right. She still ain't main event WrestleMania. Yeah, exactly. you're right. Okay, no, so but you're right. The goal is to main event WrestleMania. No, I, even, I don't disagree with that. And that like, is a even fair, to argument. be the last match. And ever Actually, since the fact that now the women have the opportunity to do that, right? Who did it? Okay, I, Damien, I can't lie. I, I got to go with them on that for the simple fact that nobody brought this up. Bailey has never worked the Tokyo Dome. Oh, yeah. That's- I, 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 like, I like that. But I'll give you one. I'll give you one better. When it came down to the first women's championship, right, after they were retiring to Divas Bell, I don't remember Bailey being in that three way. No, she wasn't. She was still down in NXT. Yeah, kind of going. She was still in developmental. Yeah. Hey, yeah, someone ca- okay. hey, screen screen capture that. Screen yep. capture that. So this is what we have it when he tells me. What year was that? 2014? No, 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 no. Still you said it. Still <laughs> the was like, and they were still on the WWE network. Like, that's when NXT was like the. Only if it was cool, only if the like the, the little niche that of like uh, of us that was watching. NXT back then was off the hook. Then, uh, yeah, like I thank Chris Idol for saying, Yeah, man, you gotta watch that NXT. Yeah, like, NXT it, 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 it back on the WWE network was the shit. Like, let me tell See, you it something. Was, I, it was Damien that got me on NXT. Is they, yo, I'm trying to I fell in love with right. one. All right, I so, like, so we need an update. Sasha and Bailey. Update this list. So, so, <laughs> so 21, twenty-one is Samoa Joe. Twenty, 20 is Bailey. Bailey. Yep. Nineteen is Sasha. Yep. Okay. So we're at eighteen. Oh man. Mm. Ooh, man. Ooh. This okay, is gonna be on. tough. Triple H. I was that. That's so. That's who I have. As my next one, um, I don't want to. I, I feel like he could be higher just because of the things that he's contributed to what the business is now. However, we take that out of the equation. Let's just take that out of the equation. That great run up to that disastrous last match that he did have, um, with everybody else that was involved. That none of those men should have been doing that. Let's just let's just keep it a stack, okay? Um, but um, you didn't like DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. And oh my God! No, oh my God! Twenty years ago, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not twenty. I mean, it years feels ago. like it was like it feels like it was twenty years ago that that match happened. <laughs> it does. That match was God damn. That match was horrible. I'm gonna, go, no. I'm gonna go back and watch it just just to see just to remind myself. It, okay, so the nostalgia part of it was great. It was just that everything that you know what made it bad. It was that everything that could go wrong was well, yep. going wrong. Yeah, that's what it was, and it wasn't even their fault. It was just one of those situations where it was like everything that could possibly go wrong 
went wrong. <laughs> so somebody got injured, masks falling off, hats falling off, bandanas everywhere, people getting concussed. It was just a, a shit show. I am Triple H. BEWA show. Oh, man. Um, number 20, <laughs> number 18. Um, I think, I mean, Triple H or mm, mm. I feel you know what? I'm looking at the list too. I'm looking at people because to me, like, the end of an era match was amazing. It was really, you know, good. And, it really and I was. know, and I know, and I know that's one match, right? But Hunter was putting in all that work post his like his leg surgeries. Remember, because like all the quad injuries that he got, yeah. he was putting all this work. And sure, he was like having a good time, having fun. You know, the you know the DX front, the reunion was going on and stuff like that. But when Hunter was like working, man, like that man was working. Think about the matches with. Cena and with Batista and Randy, you know, I'm looking at all these and I'm like, bro, like they were putting in work. No, he was. That's and like, I, it's like a, mm, it's like one of those it's, where it's like, I want to put him higher. And my man literally said that he doesn't want to work on Tuesday, so that's why he never got put on SmackDown. Like. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a toss, man, because this is that part where I look at Hunter, Michaels, and Taker, and you're looking at these three guys, and these are the, these are the legacy posts of like the early two thousands. Like these I'm are the okay dudes that putting them back to back. Who like what? Sean and Sean and Hunter? Well, we already put Sean down, didn't we? No, no, no. Michael. Okay I'm okay with putting them back, them three back to back. I don't I know don't, if I could. I don't know if we go out. Oh man, where. somebody get a screenshot of Chaz's face. Cause. I'm not sure where <laughs> though. I'm not sure where. That's the thing. I don't know where to put them, but I feel like they need to be together. I would say, no. If I'm going. No. If I'm going any route, actually, you know what? I this is why I would be okay. Cody Rhodes at 18. That's fair. I'm not against that. I I'm keep looking at either. I'm I'm looking at him, Kenny, and Sean, to be honest. Uh, I'm okay like with it. I'm okay with it being Cody. Yeah, I yeah. just just Cody, I, yeah. Kenny changed wrestling. Kenny Kenny made like him and Osprey was what like I always say, him, Osprey and Ricochet, the people that made wrestling what it is now. Like, like they, they they changed the whole landscape of what like literally what the what what the creative mind could come up with in a wrestling ring. <laughs> like they legit started doing video game bull crap, and now we all do video game bull crap in our matches. Y'all do, Damien. Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> so do you, bitch. No, I was about to say, Damien. I seen look. I I seen your last match. What did I do? Yeah, dude, you know what you did. You know it was a ladder match. I already did what I was supposed to do. Oh, hang on. It was on ladder. So, yeah, Cody. So, Cody at 18? Yeah, I'm cool with All that. All right, with that, update the list, Chaz. On it. Come on, Chaz. All right, so, uh, so 25. Let's make sure we go through all the names. So, 25, The Rock. 24, AJ Lee. 23, Batista. Twenty-two, Brock Twenty-one, Samoa Joe. Twenty, Bailey. Nineteen, Sasha. And then eighteen, adrenaline in my soul. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. All right, whoa, that's not what I typed. <laughs> Did you spell Cody Rhodes wrong? You know how you type and then sometimes it like it moves up to like the line above and oh uh, okay. Yeah, it, it's that was Samoa Jody. <laughs> 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 and I was like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right, 
Cody Rhodes at number 18. All right, cool beans. There it is. 17. 17. Okada. I was just I'm about say to this. say that. If Okada is 17, Kenny Omega is 16. I agree. I, I can't agree. argue that either. All right. Well, there I, you go. I see, wait, wait. No, wait. not too late. No, you already said it. Too right, late. You, yeah, too you late. agree. No, 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 cuz, cuz, cuz. I get. I, I, I know what you're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna argue against it. I know what you're gonna say. I'm gonna put the Miz. Instead. Oh, absolutely not. Miz is fifteen. Still yeah, Miz is mid Carter. He's don't still matter. Is. No, he's not. He's everywhere. Miz. Miz is the bar. Is the glory. No. So no. Uh, why can't the bar? So what? What, what number are we at? Seventeen. Not the bar. He's 15. The Miz is 15. Miz, yeah, Miz is the Miz, the Miz, Miz 15. We're not the bu- I don't know. We're not, we're not, I don't think you put Money in the in bank. bank. Main put- events WrestleMania beats John Cena at his peak. Miz Two times. Don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Two time, two time, two time Grand Slam champion. Exactly. Yup. I'm sorry, Miz is a top fifteen for me. That's not uh, what you call it. He was the other impact champion. That's nice. Much like championship. That's nice. Ring of don't you do that. That's nice. First of all, no, no, don't do that. No. Miz is the bar. Triple A champion. Don't y'all do don't do that. (laughs) It's true. (laughs) <laughs> like all around, oh, <laughs> all around, bro. We have just said Miz the bar. Yeah. <laughs> we all three yeah. agree that Miz is fifteen. So yeah, that right. means you fine. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> to me, the Miz was always going to be fifteen. Like Same. you have to, yeah, you have to go up from I mean, there. He was, up there. <laughs> he was definitely up there for me because like let's be serious. Really cool. Wow. While you argue what you argue for Kenny Omega and Kazuchika Okada and all that, neither one of them can shoot a fucking promo the way that The Miz can. Fair point. Dude, best promo was it talking best, smack? Hands down. Talking smack? That promo? Talking, talking smack. The, yeah. The, the most beautiful thing in the world. That man was big boy mad. You could see it. Yeah. Oh. That was so amazing. I actually just gave me Because you're a safe wrestler. <laughs> you're a safe wrestler. <laughs> so, and here's here's my thing. I'm going to argue this, right? Okada is 17. Kenny is 16. Miz is 15. Daniel Bryan is 14. That's what I was getting ready to say, too, actually. <laughs> that's, that's, that's I fair. think that's fair. Yeah. That Yeah, that's actually pretty fair. Yeah, I I, I think that's fair. Oh wow, we look at us look at us getting four names all down together. All right, <laughs> type it in, buddy. I know you don't want to. I see your feelings. No, I'm just because I'm looking at the name. I was just I, I, I'm hearing the name. I'm looking at. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You really like, <laughs> yeah like you got to really. Yeah, like it's like we did just drop religiously. Like you just said, we just dropped four names like that, and I'm like, if we all did like we. I agree. I just want to make sure. Like when I say, I'm like. Like who's still on here? And like, yeah, because now we're getting into the heavy hitters. We're getting into yeah, the we under- are. Like, we're getting I mean, Undertaker. We're getting. This into- is where we're all gonna start fighting. Yeah. This is, yeah. <laughs> all right. With that being said, I need to. I'm gonna, I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> we can. And we can. We can launch up the next game. And then you, while you go to the bathroom, we can launch up the next game. Then you come back and you hear what we gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! All right, so yeah, that was. Oh, I gotta go back from <laughs> like a little goddamn school kid. I gotta go pee. <laughs> Can I go, Can I go to the bathroom now? <laughs> go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, all right, so up. Eighteen, Cody Rhodes. Seventeen is Okada. Okada. Yep. Okada. Uchika. Okada. Sixteen is Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega and 15. 
It's the, the Miz. Miz. All right. Talk about a man that you literally feel like, yeah. hey, we need to, we need to have somebody who's credible, but can get over while still losing. And you're always like, Miz. <laughs> like, we need put this act, put this. To be able to bring in our truth. <laughs> yeah. Miz. <laughs> I, we want Miz I, to turn. We want Miz to turn heel. Oh, word. Who who do you want to put him? We don't care. Whoever. We want I, Miz to turn face. Who can we put him against? Doesn't matter. Whoever. He just it, does it. Just, just, we literally we hated this man, and then when he went and faced Gunther, we all cheered for the Miz like he was really going to win. <laughs> just a quick question, real fast. Where did Dolph Ziggler land? Uh. Good question, because guess what? 41. All the names. Cool. So look, starting at 50, okay. Finn Balor, 49, Lita, 48, RVD, Paige, Bray Wyatt, Will Ospreay, Trish Stratus, Edge, Adam Copeland, Sting, 41, Dolph Ziggler, Nick Nemeth, when he goes back to number 41, uh, 40, Gail Kim, 39, Tanahashi, Booker T, Eddie Guerrero, Charlotte Flair, Gunther, Asuka, Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke Nakamura, Beth Phoenix, John Moxley, Dean Ambrose, number 29, Mickey James, 28, Yaka Belair, 27, John Bradshaw Lafer, who's just in Mexico, with Nick Nemeth, and number 26, Bobby Lashley. 25 is The Rock. That's a big stop. Stop. Just that, just <laughs> that switch off is crazy. Bobby Lashley, all right, The Rock, AJ Lee, Batista, Brock Lesnar, Samoa Joe, Bailey, Sasha Banks, Cody Rhodes, Okada, Kenny Omega, and 15, The Miz. Uh, 41 was uh, Dolph. Okay. I've yeah. seen something about JBL came out with him. He did. Yep. 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 He did. So we still so he's a triple A. What's so now on? we are. Yeah. Yep. Which is crazy. JBL coming out in the cowboy had a trench coat talking about some. He said triple H is what number? No, we're talking. We didn't say triple A. Triple A. Yeah. Uh, 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 is that the number you're saying? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he fourteen? Daniel Bryan. Yeah. 14 is Daniel Bryan. Yeah. 14. Oh, Bryan Daniel, sorry. oh, yeah. So 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my fault. 14, Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson. I'm putting Daniel Bryan. That's the first thing. That was a man. That was the man who literally got fired from WWE because yeah. he choked out jo Justin Roberts with a tie. And the, the network executive was like, hey, you got to get rid of that guy. He might be dangerous. They got rid of him. The crowd hated it, loved that man so much. They brought him back on Team WWE. And then that man had a show out moment from there. And and you know, he yo, everything that that man does is is light lightning, right? We talking about the vegan championship when he changes the WWE title to like the eco friendly. You know? Yo, he got I just want you guys to think about this. We talk about we need to save this planet. He legitimately got people to hate recycling. And he's a he's like the most conservative person when it comes to like saving the planet, doing all the right stuff. And he got people to hate recycling. I'm like, come on, man. Like, you know, get no better than that. So many people hated that title. To be honest, I thought it was a pretty good. I thought, title. It was, I thought it was nice. I thought it looked yeah, I thought it looked pretty good. Like I I I mean, it, it got it got the point across, but like it, 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 it still it looked nice too. Yeah, I it was, yeah. I it was perfect. And someone's yeah, not yeah. it. Was that Rey Mysterio? Ray Mysterio thirteen. Thirteen. Mm, I'm gonna say Hunter. I I know I you love him. I ah. Oh, I yeah. You already know. You already know. I can tell you exactly where I see him in in, in my list. Go ahead. You put him in Go, the top. No, you much yourselves because I'm saying Triple H because you know, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say Ray because even though like outside WWE, Ray was still doing stuff. You 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 heard 
flashes of Rey Mysterio, like, oh, Rey Mysterio did this, such and such. It wasn't like, Rey Mysterio's doing this now, check this out. It was a more of, do you see what Rey Mysterio did at this such and such event? Like, it wasn't until, like, I mean, yeah, he did, uh, what you call it, Lucha Underground. Um, mm-hmm. He was there for a couple episodes. And he did, he did the first all-in show. Um, with a, um, well, not first of all, a- never disrespect it and say that again. He main evented the all-in show. It was the main event? I, that's so, so long. Main I, event. I just forgot. That's my fault. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even know that. Well, the, yeah, he main event. I, well, okay, fine. But <laughs> <laughs> outside of that, you know, the stuff you're going to eat, you don't really hear what, what Ray Mysterio. The big stuff that Ray was did was what? We're talking early 2000s, right? Between 2004-ish, really, to, to 2009-ish. Other than that, you know, other than that, Rey Mysterio was getting beat up by the big dudes afterwards. I mean, yeah, he had another title run after the fact, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't nothing to beat the first one. I mean, that's just just like any sequel. You can't, you really n- never top the first one. Um, but yeah, I I, I put Ray there because I just look at these other names and I go, Hey, let me ask you a question. In this list right here that we're gonna argue, right? Other than Styles and Jericho. Who else was in the Tokyo Dome? I know. I know. I knew that's where you were going. Yeah, hundred percent. I that's that's the that's that's the only argument I need, Sean. <laughs> no, like I'll keep it. I'll keep it a buck. Uh, I do like. I know the time is coming for him. I'm at least. I'll be a buy. I'm gonna be supervisor. I'm trying to get him to crack in the top ten. <laughs> I I think that's, where he, that's where he sits. I'm not wildin'. This is the greatest luchador of all time. This man was in AAA. This man was in CMLL. This man was in in uh over in AEW. He was working all in. He was in the Tokyo Dome. He was the one putting over Will Ospreay and Osprey saying, This is the guy. So for nah, I don't have to be wound up. We talk about the Dominic, the Dominic storyline still. And the fact that he's putting over new talent and getting new talent to be shining. Like, come on, man. This man had a run with the U.S. title. He won the Intercontinental title. He had that fire match with Gunther. He had that fire match with Brock Lesnar. And that's only in the back half of his run. We're not even talking about his stuff that he did when he was with Kurt and Randy at WrestleMania 22. The longest 69 minutes in the ring with the Royal Rumble. Like, come on, man. We could that, what are we talking about? He's not top 10. He's the greatest little man of all time. Not top 10. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn right you put that camera on me. I am probably the, I am the biggest Raven Stereo stand. I'm going to stand in my soapbox and say at least 10. <laughs> at least. Makes a good argument. <laughs> if you put him at 10, I'm like, all right, cool. We have him at 10. Me personally, five. I'll be keeping it, but ten. Damn. Yeah, we do it. <laughs> he said five. That's me. That's me, though. And if you made, if you tell me, yo, ten. I'm like, all right. I'm not even mad at him for, for reaching that high. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You mean to tell me? Hey, listen, Chad's over here, like shaking his damn head. You mean to tell me you're gonna say if I told you Shawn Michaels was number ten, what would you do? You would okay. argue him at least a top five. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm. I'm literally yeah. my, two, my two favorites. I'm pushing for them to be in a. Thing. Yeah, I know. I, Don't be mad at me. I'm not to come up yet, so I ain't got to worry about favorites. it. Yeah, my, yeah, my, my, my two, my, my, my two goats, my two personal goats are still in it, and I, I, I fully expect them to go at least to both of them, at least to seven. I, I'm, I'm hoping that's just, my that's main goat. Thing. I'm hoping my main go to these make top ten. He needs to make top ten. So I'm over here sweating it out. <laughs> right. I'm okay with Triple H being in what thirteen, right? I'm not mad at that. I'm not. You're mad at that. I just, Disappointed. Uh, I'm just thinking the Undertaker matches, even the Brock match, the Brock matches were good, like no, Triple C-O-O, H put in the work. C-O-O, Triple H when he was in the suit and still coming and wrestling and stuff here and there, but he's still being the, the like the like the authority guy was good. Like I mean, he still won the title again. I mean, yeah, it was really just a 
the placeholder for Roman, but it still was something different. Like, you know, like, no one saw Triple H putting himself in the Rumble to win the belt. Like, I, that's still significant. I still feel, and like literally, you know, you know, there's the you know the little the tag match in Saudi that we just go, stop wrestling. But until that happened. Nobody was telling Triple H to stop wrestling. All right, so then who? Who? Rollins. Ray. Becky. Ooh, so I was, I was, I was thinking Rollins and then Becky. I was thinking Becky Rollins, but I would put Becky over Seth. No offense to Seth. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. I'm okay with that. I just. I'm uh, looking right. at this list, and it's like, well, who really stands out at this point? And Becky, to be honest, stands out to me. I okay, okay, all okay. right. But here's my argument for Rollins. That was very hey. First of all, all right, God is not happy with you with that choice over here in Maryland. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, Rollins, because the greatest cash in, hands down was because yeah. of Rollins. Yeah. And I would, yeah. I, I like the man, like I said, we've gone through evolutions. We watch a man show up, but Rollins and that cash in will still be one. And let's be, let's be real. When main event shows up, he shows up too, because the greatest RKO happened at WrestleMania as well. Like yeah, that was the same, the same one. one. That same yeah. night. Yeah, that's right. The same one. So, I mean, I'm not mad at that. I remember, I remember that WrestleMania very vividly. Like, <laughs> yeah. same night. Mm. It's, it's top five in me. That, that one is still top five. Like, ah. I I don't, yeah, I got to agree with you, and, uh, with you, Cliff. Rollins, literally, he's uh, the best that way run, to, that run the best way to describe it to me one. is like Bruce Lee move like water. He's literally d- just wherever you put him in there. He flows. He's there. Yeah. He just flows like so he's like really like he's, co- he's just the cog in the machine. I hate that. I hate that phrase. That's why I wanted to do something different. But he's just that constant thing. Like I'm there and I'm putting out. He's legitimately this version, Sean. Like you need. Well, he's the reason yeah. why the world title is what it is now. Right. Like he that changed it from the really, consolation mm. prize he to the title. Right. He made that title mean something now. Like Never like he like. And he needs so to be I, higher I, up. Then. He needs to be higher up. Yeah. Well, then I would so vote. I still put. I still put. <laughs> Becky's so still sitting no at thirteen. Time. Then. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that she was gonna make it like a little higher up, but I'm not mad. I She's tried like, to keep her out of the conversation, but the more I'm looking at this list, I know it's hard. Now we're really getting yeah. into like it's heavy it's hitters, hard to put her yeah. higher above everybody else that's left on this list. Yeah. I don't want to put her higher just because she's like the sole survivor when it comes to the females. I wanted to like give them a little bit more re- representation up higher, but I can't. She almost made it to the top ten. To be honest, I'm not mad at that. I, so I said that's why I said I'm not yeah. mad. Like she she's close. So yeah, thirteen Becky. I'm okay with that. All right, then twelve Ray Mysterio. Absolutely not. Right, this right. I get the <laughs> <laughs> if he makes it to 10, we win, baby. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with Ray being like 11. <laughs> well, the, no, who's he going to go with? No. Wow. You're going to no. so you, just, just be beatless, unbiasedly. Ray why are we? Why is Punk still in the conversation to crack in the I, top 10? He I was not around know. for seven years. I'm I don't sorry, care if the was still chant for him. I think he goes higher <laughs> than that, though. I'm going to say this, then. Kurt Angle. That's what I was getting ready to say. Because Kurt Angle. That's what we got to talk about. <laughs> Kurt Angle. Stop it. <laughs> that man in top ten. That time. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be your argument. I knew that was gonna be your argument. I and I think I'm sitting here as a shield. Like I will be honest. Like WWE, yeah, weighs a lot to me, but I'm using other arguments because that man was way over at TNA. He is he legitimately a Hall of Famer in WWE and TNA. Why would we sit back and say, nah, you gotta be 
You got to be 12. No. <laughs> Kurt Angle is absolutely not to me. Awesome. Like, I won't, I won't accept anything less. Uh, uh, is- Hunter goes in the spot. <laughs> this is where Hunter goes. Well, who, what's the list looking like? Hold on, what's the list looking like? Hey, I'm still trying to debate this. I, I, if you guys all three went ahead and put it right, I'd be like, hey, man, I'm pissed about this, man. He, he, he's top ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna be like, mm, fuck this list. This is bogus. <laughs> My issue with putting Rey Mysterio before Triple H is. There was a period of time where you only did one or two matches a year while Rey Mysterio was still out here doing SmackDown, doing Raw. Like, if if anybody mm-hmm. gets a 13, in my opinion, it's either Triple H or Sean. I just wanted to get a reaction out of you with Sean, Chaz. Calm down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you've, been, you've been pretty docile for a minute or two. I think I think I think this is the part where you're not putting. I'll be I'll be real. Hey, let me be. Let me keep it. Let me keep it. Let me keep it a buck. Even though he had a, a a very long career in the 2000s, there was a period of time where Taker was just wrestling one match, and like for a That's long period of time in the year, and like while everybody else was still putting in work. So Hunter I and Sean, I knew, you know, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. there it is. I was waiting for somebody to bring that man name up. And I knew <laughs> one that put it in his back. Are no. Okay? no. 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 All I'm saying is the streak. No. That's great. But, hey, no. you know what I want you to do? No. During the streak, during, during the peak of the streak, right before Brock broke it, right? Find me other matches that Taker had wrestled in. The streak was the streak. It is right to. now, Timmy. Didn't have to. That's the point. He didn't have to. He's a fucking undertaking. That's why. <laughs> He's not like fucking I, hell. You are. <laughs> but I will. I will fly to each of y'all places and 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 murder y'all in your sleep. Y'all heard it here live. I was like, <laughs> I said you. You have okay. So we have we have, we've debated all this out, right? We've debated all this out. <laughs> There is one name. There is one name that we have not mentioned that has kept sliding up this list, and I can't wait to see where you guys go. But Randy Orton. I wanted to say him, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't want to sound disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, was <laughs> like he keeps sliding up this list, and I'm what it's like we're all making valid arguments between Sean, between Hunter, between Taker, uh, Ray, right? No one mentioned it's like it's like Randy was like, oh yeah, just just keep all don't right, mention me, just right. keep going. On this list. It's like all right, Randy, I'm good with you. Have, <laughs> to be honest and to be fair, would you not put Randy Orton in your top ten? I mean, I just, I <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, the like, names that we have. Like, like, look, you're right. We have not. But who else's name we have that legit has not even been touched? John Cena, right? AJ Styles. Like, AJ Styles. AJ Styles. We haven't Roman. even touched. We haven't even uttered the name of Roman Reigns. Like, right. so. Like, I always think Chris Jericho's like, name be a jerk. But he yeah. does. He belongs in the top ten. I hate that. Exactly. Yeah. Like, he, dope. If you think he ain't fucking top five oh, material, no, I'm not I will saying fight you until the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is top ten. I'm he not. No, I said five. top five. That's what I'm saying. Top He's five. probably he, yeah, exactly. I'm not. Dis, I'm not disputing that. I'm just. You're lucky. I ain't last saying five number years, one. The <laughs> last six years, we're just gonna delete that from the record. It just didn't happen. That was dementia. You know, he's at the end of his life. He's probably going to kick the bucket soon. Poor guy, I'm going to miss him. But it is. (laughs) We're going to lose a national treasure. I wholeheartedly understand now. You're jealous. No, I'm not. (laughs) You're jealous. What do I got to be jealous about a dementia patient? Please. You're you're jealous. You're Why? clearly having uh, dementia. You're yo. Heineken. That's not. <laughs> that says enough right there. Right? Hey, 
It's class. All right, so where we where we at with it? It's a Randy. Randy's not. So we not we 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 make sure Randy's staying in the top ten. Yeah, bro, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we still have. It's starting to skip and Shannon real fast. Dame is going to leave the pod in like three months and do his own pod. <laughs> He's gonna, he's gonna Y'all go remember this? Own pod on the rival show, and he's gonna do better numbers than us now. And our, that, that, <laughs> I literally just watched Skip and Shannon. You're jealous of him, Damon. What? I, <laughs> I, I literally, I saw, I've seen this episode before. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know how this ends. Stop, man. <laughs> oh, that was. Oh, that was funny. All right, yeah, we uh, gotta find out who 12 is. And we got, yeah, now do his own podcast on the time out. Time out, right. 13. Becky, Becky, oh, it was Becky, okay, yeah, 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 Punk. Punk. That's fair. Okay, all right. I, I'll let that go. I'll let that go. <laughs> yeah. Look at that everybody else that we have on this I'll list. Let it go. Punk at 12. Just think about just think about how passionate that we are that we're like, all right, man, I'm gonna settle now. Punk is it as well. <laughs> we, <laughs> we are what, what do we say? Listen, the three count podcast, and you know, it's our favorite fill in wrestling besides Phil Stamper. Our favorite feel is CM Punk, so we got to make sure we do our boy, all right, some justice here. I know. Okay? And even though you tried to do him dirty numerous times over the past two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, I'm calling you out, Clifford. <laughs> right? Yo, man, I'm like, you've been gone for seven <laughs> years. <laughs> great, boy. okay. You came back, your work rate was great. You know, at A, you know, at your parents, your AW, where you were trying to be the dad, and then you came over to WWE, the crowd still loves you. Like, yeah, I get it. I get it. But these other dudes were still putting in tons of work while you were just like, hey, I'm going to take my ball and go. I I get it. I Austin's aura is still a thing, too. But guess what? Honorable mention, you went, sir, and you wrestled in 2022, 2023. Yo, he made a minute, wrestling. Yeah, yeah, he read, yeah. Honorable mention, sir, that's where you will sit. He got got that one, one. yeah, real quick. He said it too. It's like, I spent 20 years since I've been in the ring. Cool, honorable mention, number 11. What you get for. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Number eleven, it's Rey Rollins or Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Rollins. <laughs> Rollins. I don't care about Rey the Mysterio. heist. <laughs> I don't care about the heist. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't care about that much. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm gonna let you have that one, Cliff. Rollins. At- <laughs> I'm gonna let him have it. Nope, I'm gonna let him have it. I'm gonna let him have it. Rollins ten has, has to be Rey Mysterio. <laughs> now what? He said ten's ten gotta be Rey. To. Yeah. No. Randy, because <laughs> I was doing that. Guess what? <laughs> oh, he Flip. really pushed it. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. <laughs> I'm with it. <laughs> All right, so I'm not. I'm not with. It. I'm not with. It. 11 CM Punk. No, 12 No, 12 is CM Punk. 11 is going to be Seth. It's, it's Seth. <laughs> Number 10. Uh, the fact that I'm sitting here is like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, yo. Wow. No. Sean? The- no. Who? John? No, Sean. Absolutely not. I said Sean. Oh, Sean. Oh. Oh. No. 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 Triple H. Triple H. Hunter. Kurt Angle. Hunter. Yeah. Triple H. Kurt Hunter. Angle. Hunter. Okay. I, I think about this, right? At 10, right? That person has to be, that person has to be the benchmark for the next. So 
They have to keep getting better. Ah, <laughs> y'all going to laugh at me. Hey, it's going to be wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I will fight for the day but you know what to me everybody else has to be better than Rey Mysterio everybody has to be better than Rey at this point and, and you honestly these yeah these next few names that we have coming off the list hey man like I, I can't I can't fight it <laughs> right. I want a Rey crack in the top 10 bro I got what I wanted he got to 10 let's go <laughs> Randy number 9 no then Bull oh, Jazz or Kurt. Kurt Angle, you all keep not going. You want to keep putting Kurt uh, Perk Angle up higher and higher is wild. Because <laughs> Perk wild. Angle is amazing. He I'm was. not saying he's not. I love me. Look, I main love event, Kurt main event mafia. All that shit he did with Joe. Come That's on, New, Japan, New Japan. A hey, New Japan heavyweight champ. That, that after true. that, that's it. This man looked right. That's all he needs, Sean. WWE <laughs> Hall of Famer. WWE TNA Hall of Famer. <laughs> like, yo. Olympic gold medal. That was in '96. I can't. I can't front. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I would, I, I've tried so hard not to say that. <laughs> yeah. I was like Olympic gold. Uh, yeah, I don't want to say broken it. Broken. Oh wait, that was earlier. Right, that was earlier. Who and who? I vote Randy then Kurt, but that's just me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Kurt and then Randy. Actually, I'm not gonna go Randy. I'm gonna go Kurt and then I'm gonna go Hunter. Oh, that's that's interesting, Chaz. You so. Uh huh. Do I think Randy has had a bigger impact? Of course I do. In the 2000s, you're, we're literally still watching this man wrestle in 2024. And when did he debut again? 2002. All right. Okay. It's okay. 20 plus years in the E, and this man is still holding it down. Yeah. And mind you, he's still he's still a main of he's still a main eventer. Yeah. <laughs> this man went from being a mid card to winning that first championship to right, so now what? Just so main eventing. So who the fuck is number nine? I guess Triple H. I guess he's got a point. I, I I'm gonna say I mean, Kurt at nine, Hunter at eight. Yes. I'm fine All right. with that. I can live with that. So number seven. Seth Rollins. He's already on. 11. Um, I'm stupid. Yep. <laughs> Yo, damn. You know, moral support. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. A, I'm a, a, this, is, this is where I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep this at a buck. And I know, I know. This is where, <laughs> this is where things are gonna get super dicey. Uh, Taker and Michaels, or Michaels and Taker. Michaels and Taker. We all agree. We all Michael agree that Taker. this is the part. This is the part where we all agreed on that. This is where all three of these guys are gonna get bunched. Uh, yeah, Michaels and Taker. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, cool I'm, I'm totally okay with that. That way, Michaels at number seven. Taker is above him. I don't care what you say, Chaz. Don't make that fucking face. You know I'm right. I don't think you. I just don't. I wouldn't put Roman Reigns above the Undertaker. I 100 percent would. I would. I love Taker, and I, he needed to be up this high anyway. But I. To agree. be honest, Roman's my number five. Looking right. at the list of these people, that <laughs> you, you know what the funny part is. I would like them to be higher, but I can't even be mad at you on that one, actually. Looking at the list of people that we have left, I, it's we're talking about longevity at that point. Yeah, of people yeah. who have been doing it longer. Yeah, it's yeah, very but... hard to argue Roman. Yeah. Granted, in the short period of time that we have had Roman, talking about evolution, we've had him with the Shield, we've had him as the Tribal Chief, and now the original Tribal Chief. In the short period of time that we have had Roman Reigns, he has done a lot. Yeah. 
but looking at like AJ Styles, looking at John Cena, Chris Jericho, like it's just five seems like where it falls for him. So, uh, can I tell so, you my, wait a minute, hold on. Tell you my top three, and this, this is in no order. Hit John, okay. Chris, and AJ. I kind of feel like that's all of our top three, if we're yeah. going to be honest with you. I, I was like, I, I just that's that's the knockout round. Like it's just yeah, that's that's the round but twelve where I, I did, like the haymakers get thrown. I think, but we're we're talking about. But we also have to think about everything he Between. did before he became. Uh, Yo, I like so look look right there. That's that's the face that I needed right there. So Michaels, is it? it it's Michaels and then Taker. Is that what we're trying to say? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't argue with that. All right, so seven. Sean, write it down, Chaz. Put it down. But I, already, I, put Taker, it down. Then Sean? No, yeah. Sean, take it. Sean, then take Yeah, Sean, Sean Michaels. Sean Michaels at seven, take her at six. You can, you can argue. You can argue. You can argue all those great matches. You can argue all those great matches, right? And I, I 100%, I'm, I'm with you, right? But Batista versus Taker, we also talk about, we talk about Sean Taker 1, Sean Taker 2, Triple H and Taker. The end of an era, Hell in a Cell, right? With Sean being in a match as a referee, you know. Not even that, but like at the end, remember, like, to get the Shield, really, the heat that they needed, Taker be Dean Ambrose and then they triple power bombed him on SmackDown and we didn't see that dude again. <laughs> yeah. He came back for one match on SmackDown and we didn't see him again. And then, you know, all the stuff, obviously. All the stuff with Kane, like, you know, a lot of stuff there. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good stuff. All right, so top five, we're here. Switch. Yeah, we are. We're here. Mm. We are at this, now, this, this is this where it's the left round here. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, who's five? Twitch already oh, said Roman. Roman. Ooh. Hey, you got to switch that. Seven should be HBK. Yeah. Yeah. Switch. Stop trying to stop trying to cheat. We nah, saw that. <laughs> you <bust it>. mm. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're not going to notice. They're too busy. We, we, we're about to get <laughs> I, I, I don't notice that. Nice try. Yeah. We got it right away. I have seen, I can fight for Roman being four before over Randy. It's nice. Just, I, I, mm. uh, uh, See, so my, though. my argument to that is I'm, I'm pulling for Randy Orton to beat Ric Flair's record. I can understand that. I ain't, I ain't mad at you about that. However, with that being said, still, I don't know. That's hard. Youngest WWE champion. I understand that. Yeah, but if Randy was going to break the record, break Rick's record, it would have already happened. Because fair. now, like, yeah, I just think right now, like, we're talking about maybe Randy having a couple more good runs in him, and um, that's kind of it, right? I... I oh man, it's so hard right now because I think Randy sits at five. Twenty years in, huge impact, right? And granted, he did lose a couple years because of like the shoulder thing going on, um, but that still didn't stop him, right? Like he's still he's still the man, like he's still doing things. And granted, you know, I think about the stuff when he wanted to fight Undertaker, right? And he's like, I made one mistake. And then Stacey Keebler, the Stacey Keebler thing, right? When he RKO Stacey and became like a full on heel. And then like you see him with, you know, we talk about evolution. And then we talk about how that that one, the just the sinister look that he had when he was punching people. He had when he kissed Stephanie and Triple H was just like handcuffed, couldn't do nothing. Like the sinisterness of him, I I a hundred percent could see why we would argue him up, right? But there's just something about Roman to me that says, "Hey, uh, the, you know, not just the tribal chief, but the way he made his impact. Even when we saw him with the shield, we all were locked into Roman. Yeah. We 
we were all waiting for Roman to say something and he didn't have to say nothing. He was over. And then, you know, WWE started feeding some bullshit ass lines. And that's where like, we were like, all right, Roman sucks, but he still main evented eight WrestleMania. The man still <laughs> currently still holding out. We know that he's going to main event another WrestleMania. We're all going to be here for it. So yeah. I, I, I look at Randy and I'm like, I, I, I think Randy sits at, you know what? I don't think it's controversial. I think Jericho sits at five. You're smoking crack, which I'm says tell, no, no, no. in the room that nobody sees. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Here, here. I, I'm looking at. I'm looking at the. I keep thinking about this, right? But like, while Jericho is doing this thing in AEW, and he's had his time in WWE, I, I would say that because Jericho has taken more time away from WWE, and you know, Randy's was to injury. Jericho just kind of let his time run out. I just think that Randy's impact is way more than Jericho. And I think Roman's impact is a little bit more than what Jericho has done. And I listen, and I know he did this stuff at him. I know he's done the stuff at new Japan. I know he's done the stuff at, uh, I see the, the stuff at AEW. I just have to, I'm going to pull my way. I'm going to try to pull my gay around, <laughs> my guy around. I know, I know, I know realistically I should be like, yo, he top three. I'm going to go ahead and try to like, Push radio up. <laughs> vetoed. Vetoed wholeheartedly. Oh, uh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> you don't get a vote because you're biased. <laughs> what do you mean I don't get a vote because I'm biased? You don't he made it to the top five. You don't get a vote because I'm biased. You are talking about, you are talking about the first undisputed champion. That's this nice. man beat The Rock and Austin in the same night. Nobody else on this list will be able to do that. Go fuck yourself. No. No. I mean, no. The one person that I could make an argument for, uh, he's already on the list. He's already got marked up. And I would have been like, well, Daniel Bryan is the only person to be all three members of Evolution in one night. So I was like, I mean, that's a pretty good argument there. But like, you know, he's gone. No. You see where he landed. Chris Jericho yeah. is lucky that he's on this list right now. You're biased. <laughs> Nothing you say is correct. You are wrong. Again, he should have been an honorable, honorable mention. Damien, you are wrong at life. <laughs> the, fact that I, the fact that I no. have to breathe the same oxygen as you is offensive right now. Good. So right now. It, sir. Right now, right now, we understand that the longevity of things is what's gonna gonna matter. And I guess if we're looking at it that way, I I I have to concede, man. I, I guess I'll I, the the travel chief looks like he might be having to sit in that five spot because I we're will, not gonna. I will agree with you on Randy as number five, though. I you that is a very valid argument. You're looking at the longevity just on the opposite end, while Randy's is probably behind him. Romans is still continuing. I'm agreeing with Randy being at number five. I, I can I can agree with yeah. that. Okay. All right. So Randy at five, Roman at four. All right, the top three. This is where friendships will be tested. Dude, friendships are gonna be ended. I tell you what. <laughs> Again, because let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now. What the friend Chris Jericho's three? What? No, what no, are we talking no. about? Absolutely. Are you smoking? No. You know what? Roy has got you doing a lot of crystal meth right now, sir. There's there's no there's no earth, no multiverse, anything where Chris no. Jericho, AJ no. Styles, John Cena, Jericho no. goes above either one of them. Even if you like, no, no, no. <laughs> no. no. Sorry. Look, guess what, dog, dog. I, I love Jericho too. <laughs> No, he only wants him to be number one because he wants to see me have an aneurysm. That has <laughs> nothing to do with it. That's just a bonus. No. That's, that's, that's I, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. shit. Allow me to give my argument real fast. Allow okay. me to give my argument. 
you are talking about a man who everywhere he has gone, WWE. Is that for even AEW? If you go back, even shut up. Even if you go back further, when he was in WCW, New Japan, everywhere he has gone, this man is winning titles. Everywhere, and not just titles. You're winning world titles. The longevity of it is on Chris Jericho's side for him to go above AJ, in my opinion. Yeah. Fuck you, Damien. Never. No. You know what? <laughs> while, while, while you... Go ahead. Yes. AJ did it first. I don't like you neither, Chaz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because AJ broke the bubble. He did. He, him, and Nakamura, and you know, and all them, they were the ones that really popped the bubble. That said, yeah, guess what? Us New Japan motherfuckers, we gonna come over here, and guess what? We're good over here and everywhere else. We can make it here. So I, yeah. fuck Jericho AJ got on the screen after man. the fact. Jericho got on the hype after all the indie talent came to the E, <laughs> and everyone else came to the E. That's when the heat started, like. Oh, let me do the opposite. Like, let me go get L's. Like, I, I, that- I just can't. No. Like my top, my my top three favorite wrestlers are Chris Jericho, AJ Styles, and Shawn Michaels. So this, like, I, 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 I mean, so Chaz already wins because he got two of his three favorites in the in the top three. <laughs> you know? exactly. And at that, he got all three in the top ten. Like, yo, good on you, Chaz. Give uh, yourself a pat on uh, the back. <laughs> Also, like I grew up in the John Cena era, so I was a kid doing John Cena. Yeah, so, Jericho, I Jericho, Jericho got us in that too. Of, to what Hulk Hogan was for you all before he just showed his racist ass, um, that's what that John Cena be, was for me. That that might be. Yeah, more, I was more of a macho man fan. Uh, back I, I mean, you were. We know now you're a macho man. Yeah, say that live and publicly uh-huh. right now. What? Do, do, that you're a macho man. You like you're a macho man, man guy. Yeah, what? Back in the you, day. Don't lie, Damien. You who, totally got hey, a Hulkamania shirt. Yes, we, no, yeah. I was not a Hulkamania. Damien, I got video proof of you running Hulkamania wild on this show. No. So, do, so hold on real fast. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Just, just now, one quick I question. Now, I don't agree. I don't <laughs> agree that – I don't disagree that, you know, yeah, he wasn't my favorite. Your brother, brother, brother. So, now, you know, I always <laughs> rooted for the bad guy. Oh my bad! I thought, it, oh, my I bad. thought it was hilarious when Undertaker put uh, Warrior in the casket. Or in so, the- can I just ask okay. you a question? What do we? Uh, I'm uh, I'm assuming that we are all in agreement that it that it's Jericho, AJ, John, correct? No. We're no. Not. So we're all in agreement that Jericho could sit at three. That's fine with me. <laughs> I get it, right? Because like the the New Japan title, Ring of Honor title, AEW title, the WWE Undisputed First Champion. All yeah, great. Yeah, but no, we're not in agreement that this is AJ and Cena. No, <laughs> I, I'm just glad that we're. I'm just. Number three is fucking Jericho. I, I, God All right, damn it. so number two and number one were about the box. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, and last round. All and right, so knock out the win. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how we want to how we want to do this? Are we gonna all say who we think at the? Let me say no. We're not. This is what we say. If it wasn't for the E, Cena would not be a thing, and AJ was doing it. Bigger, better before Cena even hit. So it has to be. It has to be. The second leader of the Bullet Club, it has to be that man. TNA, let's go. That man was holding it down. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) If it wasn't for the machine, do you remember what John Cena was doing as a prototype? No, you don't. You ain't seen that. Do you remember where John Cena was? Remember when he filmed Ready to Rumble as a cameo spot? That's where he was with, with WGW. Hey, Styles made oh, impacts yeah. everywhere. <laughs> I don't need to say anything. No, nope, he's right. <laughs> I don't have to say yeah. anything. 
Right. Even right. though he was doing that, at the end of the day, John Cena was still a bigger name than him. I yeah, but take WWE away from John. It still Cena doesn't matter. Yes, but it does. That, that, that's fine. Okay. Hey, you can. Hey, go ahead. Make make those right. But for every person that John Cena has wrestled and be and let's be right, whether that's at WrestleMania with Sean or with Triple H. Or with you know his matches with Taker, Kurt Angle, you can name those, right? But also, guess what? Same thing on the other side. If we're talking about Perk Angle, guess who was the dude that was over there facing him? AJ Styles was doing that thing. X Division holding it down. AJ was holding down in TNA. AJ's holding down in New Japan. AJ's main event in Tokyo Dome. AJ's leading the Bullet Club. AJ's doing Z. And then who was the number three entrant? Roman Reigns looking like this. I am phenomenal. It gotta be AJ. And guess who's still holding out WWE now? The okay. house that AJ Styles built. And you and granted, Cena, Cena was holding it down when there was no other competition. AJ Styles was the competition. Cena's Without the machine, up. Cena is still just another eight. Hey, you know what AJ Styles didn't have to worry about? AJ Styles never had to worry about getting cut. If it wasn't for someone just saying, hey, you should do a rapper's gimmick. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you're right. AJ was never getting AJ was never getting cut from any place he was at. No. He wasn't. AJ, like a like AJ is what John Cena was and that time period. Like, like as Cliff said, the competition. You want to know I I my Tom Brady, Patty Mahomes. That's what that like. They were the two guys. Like AJ led the ship for TNA during the mid two thousands, and even the dark ages of, of of TNA, when it wasn't popping. Who did you? Who led that X division to what it is now? Why do we know what the X? Why do every wrestling fan scream for the X division? Who don't watch TNA on a regular, but they know that X that Ultimate X match is up. Whether they, who did that? AJ exactly. Styles, right? And I'll be real. It was the bigger name. I'm gonna We're not this. talking about bigger names. We're talking they about accomplishments. Impact. We're talking about accomplishments. AJ, AJ, AJ had the bigger impact. AJ. That's cool. Hey, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's let's do like this. Let's do like this. Let's do like this. So yes, I will. I will give you. John Cena has the bigger name. Okay, he does. Well, I mean, but you know, here's my thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Chill, chill, chill. Hold on. Let me let me get it. Okay. Let me let me cook. Let me cook. Yes, I, Cena I, has. I, Cena has it. Cena has the bigger name, and we can also go that Cena has like you know, we can say he has the bigger accomplishments. He has the titles, right? Let's be real. Sixteen titles, sixteen time world champion, right? But when we talk about wrestler, right, the man who cutting promos, I think AJ Styles cuts better promos than John Cena, and has been doing it consistently. When I look at someone like. Having these kind of impacts when it comes to, you know, the USA Championship, right? The United States Championship. Cena may have been the guy who was holding that torch, right? I, I stand for USA. But AJ Styles came through. Guess what? He burned that flame. I think he burned that flame up higher, right? When I look at what SmackDown has become now, is because AJ Styles has been the influence in it. When Cena was there, it was not Cena's show. We talk about the SmackDown Six, and Cena's name is not in that comp- conversation. Cena it had to be. It, let me, let me, let me keep it. Let me keep it this way, right? If we had the SmackDown Six, AJ Styles would be in the SmackDown Six. You damn right. But if the lose. SmackDown Six was around, it would be AJ Styles. They would be laughing at him. They'd be like, "Yeah, whatever. Take AJ. We don't really need him anyway. He's not gonna be that good." He would have turned that. If you take Cena out of E and you put you put John Cena, right? Let's call him the prototype. Whatever you want to call him. Put him in TNA, he's just another dude. But when you look at AJ Styles, we have seen the body work that AJ Styles has done outside from Ring of Honor, from uh, TNA, from New Japan, from the E. The man is. Yeah, but that was before. Okay. (laughs) That's why I get put. We don't know what Cena would have accomplished outside of the E. We know what he would have accomplished. The stuff that AJ Styles did. And and so therefore, that argument is just kind of dull and void. I disagree. So what is your argument? But if the majority rules, it is what it is. (laughs) I disagree. 
I disagree. <laughs> What is this is not from the same dude. I pushed to get John Cena as the listen. I got John Cena as the goat in our conversation. In our in our in, spoiler for those who didn't see that episode, that was me. I was the guy, and the reason why was because of who fell in that category. But if it was me going back, AJ Styles and John Cena would have been in a competition, and I still would have taken AJ Styles over John Cena. I disagree, but hey, it is what it is. AJ, AJ. <laughs> I mean, AJ is a I might not player. talk to you guys for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be on the debate show next week. Might not be doing the watch. <laughs> Maybe I. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. I still love you guys. I just not like you. What if I told you? What if I told you we had no choice because we won't? Me and Cliff are both next week. Oh, even better. Then. <laughs> Twitch, I'm doing what you're doing. Oh, you're doing what? <laughs> you're doing what? I'm doing it solo. No love. That's fine. I'll take the boat out. All right, cool. Bet. <laughs> Ready to be dangerous. There you have it. <laughs> we ended the. All right. So all I did, did, all I did was just, all I did was just yell for this. <laughs> yeah. He did. He yelled his point across. Was no I was like, yo, <laughs> that's how, hey, there was two people that were going to make this top 10 on my list, <laughs> Ray Mysterio and AJ Styles, those were the two I was like, and the funny thing was, is like two, three weeks ago when we started this, this whole thought process, I was like, I'm pretty sure the top three is going to be AJ, John, and Chris, and I'm, I just see it going to me, I was like, I think it's gonna go Chris John AJ. And I was like, tomorrow I thought about AJ Styles, I was like, I I love AJ Styles. <laughs> I my I argument would have been for AJ. Don't get me wrong. I I have nothing but the utmost respect for both loving both of them very, very much equally. However, for me, it, it's John over AJ. It just is what it is. You're also a WWE biased, so it Yes, I am. What's your point? <laughs> Right. Yeah, you. You. I, I, I hey. guess you'd be, you would be a right winger in wrestling. Yes, <laughs> I was. Uh, I was a shield. I was shield for Raymond Sierra as long as I could get him to the top. <laughs> as long as I think you made it top ten, I was okay and happy. I knew no matter what I said, I wasn't getting Jericho out of the third spot. I just needed to argue with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Again, as I said, Jericho's lucky he wasn't an honorable honorable mention. And you're lucky you're allowed to breathe <laughs> my oxygen. I'm not. I'm breathing <laughs> my oxygen. Ah, it's 2,000 miles away, sir. Well, I, just, I, can make that I just want to get to a black person in the top 20, and I got that with Sasha. <laughs> you I, honestly, I wish we could have got a woman in the top 10. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. It just wasn't feasible. I'm sorry. It wasn't. Look, I'm well, not, yeah. not as many women as we could on the on the 50 list period. And so then, that yeah. meant I'm happy about that. We also got to remember in the not not to say that the women before weren't putting on classic matches. Oh no, they were. But the woman work rate has really increased from like just recently, like but then I mean really within the last Jeez, because yeah, it's 2024. It's for like the past 10 years. Yeah. Yep. So you got us like, in, you know, we were doing the whole 2000s. And so it's it's kind of hard because, I mean, we got a Trish in there. We got, you know, Gail Kim. Um, But like we said back in the day, you know, it, we were, there were bright spots. I know we got Beth, Beth Phoenix is in there. But not to cut, not to cut this short on all you gentlemen, I got to go eat dinner. So I am bouncing out of here. Well, yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good eat your dinner. I'll talk to you in two weeks. You hungry Chad, man. Chad, you have a lovely haircut, by the way. But thank you. Thanks for telling everyone that I have a haircut. That I'm not. <laughs> yeah, he just put it out there in front he of sure everybody. He sure did. I'm, I'm trying to and make it the match and or not until I take promo pictures. Well, the, again, the public still won't see it. But all right, let's I, go through this list. You want to hear something funny before you go through it? What? I told I told Idol about the the first twenty five. He almost had an aneurysm. <laughs> well, they didn't show that on the show. The beta. I read it. What are y'all doing? 
when I read it back earlier, I think when you went through the bathroom and I read the first, like I read the name for 25 and, and I just went, geez, that jump off from 26 to 25. <laughs> So you'll see what I mean when I go through these names. All right. So, folks, we did it. <laughs> I didn't think we could do it, but. Two hours. <laughs> Four hours total because the last Four one was almost total. two hours. Right. It was two hours. Yeah. So we did it. Top 50 wrestlers since 2000. Don't forget your honorable mentions. Oh, yeah. So honorable mentions. Do you have those, Damien? I don't have them up. Yeah, Swerve Strickland, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kota Ibushi, Jay Briscoe, China, Awesome Kong, the Bella Twins, and Bully Ray. All right, here we go. Top 50. That's crazy. That is a crazy list. Here we go. <laughs> Top 50. Oh. Number 50, Finn Balor, Lita, Rob Van Dam, Paige, Bray Wyatt, Will Ospreay, Trish Stratus, Edge, Sting, Dolph Ziggler, Gail Kim, Tanahashi at 39, 38, Booker T, 37, Eddie Guerrero, 36, Charlotte Flair. Still mad about that. 35, <laughs> 34, Oscar, 33, Jeff Hardy. We got Oscar over Gunther? 32, Shinsuke Nakamura, 31, Beth Phoenix, 30, John Moxley. 29, Mickey James. 28, Bianca Belair. 27, JBL. 26, Bobby Lashley. 25, The Rock. 24, AJ Lee. 23, Batista. 22, Brock Lesnar. 21, Samoa Joe. 20, Bailey. 19, Sasha Banks. 18, Cody. 17, Okada. 16, Kenny Omega. 15, The Miz, 14, Daniel Bryan, 13, Becky Lynch, 12, CM Punk, 11, Seth Rollins, 10, Rey Mysterio, 9, Kurt Angle, 8, Triple H, 7, Shawn Michaels, 6, The Undertaker, 5, Randy Orton, 4, Roman Reigns, 3, Chris Jericho, 2, John Cena, and the number one wrestler since the year 2000. Voted on by the Three Count Podcast. Not unanimously. <laughs> Majority. Majority did it. Jay 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 Styles <laughs> is the greatest wrestler since 2000. <laughs> tell all your Jenny. friends. Tell everybody <laughs> we said it here. The GOAT, at least of the 2000s so far. Hey, I'm, not, I'm not super mad about it. AJ Styles. I respect it. I, I see it. It's not like it's like outlandish, okay? Are you, are you going to right. store the studio? No, no, because as long as Chris Jericho is not in like one or two, yeah. I can like breathe easy. Again, he should have been honorable, honorable mentions. I almost got him at five. You did. I almost got you at five. I was you know. five. You did, because even I had, I was sitting there going, Wait, he might be right. I tried. I tried to get him at 25. <laughs> Just because he won the of the week so many times. I feel like that should knock you down some pegs as you like as it goes on. So, you know. Just saying. Well, there, this is insane though, man. It's like, bro. This is a crazy list. Whew, hell yeah. Let's never do this again until like next year. No, I thought we were doing tag <laughs> I can't. Tag, yeah, we got we got a tag team one that we still got to do, guys. Three hundred twenty-five tag. I don't even think I can bring you fifty tags. Yeah, we the top twenty-five tag teams of all time. I, <laughs> of, all time. Do, of all time, ooh. all time. I mean, we could we could do we could do all time, or we could do the top since two thousand. I don't really care. I we figure that one out. Thousands only do fifteen. If we're two thousands is more than enough to do twenty-five. Uh, 25 good ones? Yeah. 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 You could probably name 10 right off the top of your head. Not right now, but and we got to wrap up. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, two hours that we've been yeah. running. <laughs> you know? Yeah, look. Twitch, he was here, but my man was hungry, so he went to go dip. He said, yeah, bump this. I'm not a regular. Uh, But look, for Damien <laughs> Cliff, 
Uh, look, thank you for checking us out for the past uh, two weeks. Um, we'll be back next week with the debate topics. Um, we'll be more entertaining, I guess. Probably not. Uh, you said next week is. Hold on, next week is. Isn't there all in? Yeah. Yeah. So we're just, yeah, there is. We're just doing a watch along. There is no debate show. I lied, y'all. It's just a watch along. You're right. We're doing a watch year. along. We might. I might be debating on if I want to watch it or not. But I mean, that's about <laughs> as much debate that we're gonna get because I only want to see one match on that whole entire card. It's what Swerve and, and Brian? Yep. Yeah. That's the only thing that has piqued my interest. No offense. No. Uh, um, that yeah. I, I have to. No, like, I'm being dead ass. Like. Some of the other matches look like they're going to be interesting. Not going to be bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if I had to, that's the match I'm most looking forward to. So now I got to sit eight hours of my life and wait for that. Ugh, fuck me. Well, on that, <laughs> on that note, go listen to another episode right yep. now. After you just listen to this two-hour one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. And he's still the champion. Clay! Boots! Hey guys, it's the host of the three count, you know, Chaz Evans here. Make sure to let you know that I don't run shit, I don't do shit, I just talk shit. And uh, make sure you subscribe to our podcast. Um, what else did you do? You should also follow us on all social media. That's the Facebook at Three Count Podcast, the Instagram at Three Count Pod, and the Twitter at Three Count underscore pod. Also, if you like us a lot, a lot, you should definitely buy a, a t-shirt at prowrestlingtees.com slash three count pod. And that's the number three. Don't be an idiot and type in T-H-R-E-E because you're not going to find anything. So make sure you follow us at three count pod or three count underscore pod on Twitter and buy a shirt. Be there or be somewhere else.